Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15. Now I just want to make an apology for not uploading this video last night. I'm only doing it this morning because last night I was down at um, my local hospital having a urgent medical issue that needed attending to. Luckily to say I'm okay at the moment so no alarm bells to worry about. Um, but unfortunately that's why I couldn't make this video last night. But hopefully we can have a good day today. A lot of good racing going on at Ascot and Haydock today. And that's where we're going to be mainly focusing our attention today. And we'll also throw in uh, a selection at Taunton as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll just quickly reflect on how uh, yesterday's selections ran. We did have a winner in the end. We had a winning nap with Ramesses de Tele at Chepstow. I thought that was a very impressive performance. It's done very well since it's gone over the chase fences. I think that might have been its second win uh, now over its three starts over chase fences and it gave away about a stone yesterday to the rest of the field against some two okay rivals with the likes of Ron's Dream and also as well a few other good horses in there. So all in all, that wasn't a bad performance. Our other horses that ran weren't nothing spectacular. Daytime Head finished fourth. Every uh, dance that danced, that uh, last one in the bumper at Musclebread never really was in the frame. And then our other horse, uh, Hublani, which did drift out pretty much before the start of the race, really didn't get into the race. Travelled okay, but when it came down the home straight, it didn't have a turn of foot whatsoever compared to its rivals, and that one was really disappointing, considering it had a couple of promising form lines. So that's how uh, yesterday's selections ran, and hopefully we can improve on that um, performance yesterday and have a few winners here. So we're going to be starting off today at Taunton in the 150, and this is going to be our unknown shot in the format that we normally do on here in our Each Way Lucky 15 predictions of the unknown. Unknown, the nap, next best, and the long shot, and the unknown we start off at Taunton in the 140 with a horse called Vocalizer. Now I know it's a short price favourite, it's currently 11 to 10 on at the moment, but I thought I had a very good chance. It's trained by Robin Dickin, Charlie Post takes a ride, and the reason this is an unknown because it's still a novice, still learning its trade over the chase fences and it's been running very well of late it's been um in the first two and its last three uh, runs so it's been very consistent towards the front end of the races and it's got a victory um at leicester amongst those also as well second last time out behind a very good gary moore horse called not another muddle and he gave him a good performance that day to compete against him so i thought he was probably the strongest one in this race he's got one or two other horses that might be interesting on pace Paper, but he's going to be in receipt of weight and I thought I had a very good chance of uh, winning that race so that's our unknown selection in the 140 at Taunton. We then go to Ascot for the next best and we go with a horse that we have won with before called Midnight Tune currently around 7 one bookmakers at the moment. Aidan Coleman takes a rider for Anthony Honeyball and Anthony Honeyball's been having a very good season been very profitable to follow and I thought Midnight Tune could maybe make the step up from Handicap Company to Grader Company and could put in a good performance it's often been a front runner and it's got some good form lines in those uh, wins that it's recently had in its last two starts beating some decent uh, horses that subsequently have run some good races so I thought maybe Midnight Dream was a little bit overpriced and it's going to be our next best shot for today and I thought even though you got um, the Warren Greater X horse that is definitely the one to beat I thought Midnight Dream could give it a good go so that's going to be the next best there we then go to our long shot in the 225 a pretty much a wider open handicap i'm going with uh, the horse here knight of sin currently 12 to 1 with bookmakers at the moment and it's trained by nick williams whose stable been in very good form i think uh, wednesday they had about four winners or something like that or they had some very good performances he uses the services of the jockey of lizzie kelly who often rides for him taking a valuable three pounds off so that will uh, be handy there this horse knight of sin's got some good form was unlucky to lose last time out at um exeter and we actually backed it that day at exeter where it finished second and before then it uh, ran at ascot where it finished seventh and it wasn't disgraced um in that race by finishing seventh that uh piece of form has worked out really well there's been winners like verdana blue that come out of it sped derek i think that's how you pronounce it that's running in the big race later the clarence house uh, as Scott and also as well um the selection here Knight of Sin beat Peter the Mayor Man and I know that's one again 
um, since it ran at Ascot. So there have been some decent performances that have come out of that race. And I thought Knight of Sin, maybe at 12 to 1 in a wide open, wide open handicap, could definitely be at least a good each way bet and could make the frame. So that's going to be the selection there. We then go to the 315 at Haydock. And this is going to be the nap. Now it is on the drift, but I'm not sure why. Probably maybe because it's been one of those uh, horses that have a lowly handicap mark and progress. Maybe people think it has reached its limit. But again, in a wide open handicap, I thought this horse, Forrester Aglils, in the 315 at Haydock, had a very good chance. Trained by Lucinda Russell, who knows how to uh, train some big uh, winners. Obviously with the likes of One for Arthur. Derek Fox takes the ride now. It's going to be carrying a good low weight of 10 stone 4. It's uh, seeking its uh, fourth win in a row. And it should handle the conditions. It won last time out over three miles at Banger on D on heavy ground. I thought it could go very well in this wide open field. And I thought, really, even though it's now drifted out to something like 12 to 1, I really thought this horse, Forrester Egg, could go very well and is definitely on an upward curve. So there are the selections for today's horse racing. If you've got any good tips, if you think none of my selections will run well, please let your comments be known in the comments box below. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Facebook at LuckyLoads15. Gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon.